My name is Jeb Fitzpatrick and I'm the Senior Executive Lead uh, Investment Managers in Super Adasic. We try to ensure that we keep a very proactive engagement with uh, super funds and super fund trustees. So we've uh, recently developed our own web page so people can access the information directly when they need to. We have regular catch-ups with the industry associations. We have held a number of um, round tables and uh, engagement presentations with uh, the industry for people to be able to access ASIC directly and to ask us questions and of course we have regular catch-ups with people if they wish to um, if they wish to talk with us uh, we're certainly always happy to engage with people on an issue by issue basis what we don't tend to do uh, is to have some form of relationship management because we find that in our engagement with super trustees, that most of the, 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 the engagement that we'll have will be on a, an issue by issue basis. A lot of attention is being paid to the implementation of stronger super. Now that most of the legislation is through, people have a clear idea of what's happening in a legislative sense and are really focusing on how they're going to implement this within their own funds and what type of approach ASIC is going to take. We've issued um, some information in terms of guidance to the, to the industry and will continue to do so uh, through the use of information sheets and frequently asked questions. This enables us to be able to put out information and guidance to the industry on a, a, a timely basis which will subsequently roll up into a single regulatory guide. But certainly the, the, the concern at the moment are, are really the, the, those uh, nuts and bolts implementation issues. Obviously Stronger Super is, is a whole set of new reforms, but the areas that are covered by Stronger Super relate to disclosure and aspects that ASIC has had for a long time had responsibility for in the super space. So we're very used to dealing with issues around disclosure and to dealing with super trustees on these matters. What is different is obviously that the reforms themselves are, are, are bringing changes to the disclosure landscape. And people are wondering, well, how, how is that going to be implemented? So one of the things that we're trying to make very clear is if you have some issues, please be proactive and come and talk with us. And we'll try as, as far as possible to get our, our guidance out in a timely manner before implementation. We have released some uh, uh, frequently asked questions. We'll be issuing very shortly some uh, information sheets and we intend to do a series of information sheets as uh, the legislation and the regulations are, are become more clear. Uh, so some of the information that I, I anticipate we'll have out in the next uh, week or two relates to intrafund advice and also something called 29QC which is about the uh, provision of information between uh, super trustees to their members and, and to ASIC and to ensure that all ties up. Well, I think there's been quite a lot of uh, a change within the super space and I think we, we need to ensure that the, the regulatory environment in which we're, we're, we're moving to is something that the super funds are able to adjust to well. So our first priority is really to ensure that the current round of, of regulation is implemented successfully. We'll be taking a, what's called a facil facilitative approach to um, people implementing and tr super trustees implementing the reforms and that means where people are making real efforts to implement the, the changes then we'll be supporting them and encouraging them and, 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 and we'll, we'll, we understand that it's not necessarily that easy to do it, it when it's such a large change however where we do see situations where there is significant uh, lack of, uh, of uh, uh, attention to actually undertaking the change obviously we'll, we'll, we'll take a stricter approach in those circumstances. Well our concern is really about how the, the, the funds and the super trustees themselves disclose to their members. So really when we have a situation, whether it's a merger or it's another change, we want to ensure that the members are appropriately informed so that they can make confident decisions about their investments. So really what I'd say is, is first of all, ensure that, they, that, that the, whatever information that needs to be provided is provided for. Come and talk with us. 
give us uh, a heads up really on, on what's happening because the more that we can work together the, the better we can have for an, a, a, an outcome that works best for members overall. We don't want to have a situation whereby somebody rolls out a product or, or, or goes through a process whereby we have to subsequently take action. It's far better to deal with things in a, at an early stage.